What is going on guys and girls? My name is Ghost Robo, and I'm about to show you the craziest menu song in the history of the world. 3, 2, 1. If that doesn't make you want to get up and play Miss Splosion Man, I don't know what will. Let's get into it. This game is chock full of content for $10 on the Xbox Live Morgan Blaze. That's Miss Splosion Man. She is a girl. Unlike Mr. Splosion Man, or regular Splosion Man release. Oh, what was that, two years ago? Last year? I don't even know. But, we're right here at the very beginning of the single player, Prologue 1-1. She can walk very daintily and explode scientists with any button. They've made some graphical tweaks. I was playing multiplayer a little earlier. This is my first time in single player, but you'll notice they've added more of a cartoony look to the, uh, the explosion, kind of a shadowy look, which is pretty awesome. If you did not play the first explosion, man, this game is about puzzle solving with explosions. They boost you around the world. There's crazy barrels. You can regain your explosive juices if you hang on the wall for long enough and you get three explosions before you're out of gas. And then you must touch a surface basically for long enough to hold on. And we've got a barrel here. And what the heck is this thing? Blue cord of terror. Ooh, a zip line. Nice. Wow, these were not in the first game. That's pretty awesome. I like those. Neither were balloons. I don't remember much balloons. Turning scientists into skeletons. That's a checkpoint. And I really enjoyed the first explosion, man. It was something that I think everyone thought was like the multiplayer was super tough. Like the single player was hard, but the, the, the co-op really intense. Um, and from the few levels I've played so far, it seems like this is gonna be uh, a similar type deal. And this one also has a really weird mode that you have to beat the game to unlock. Um, but it is a mode where you control two explosion men with one controller, one at the left stick, one at the right stick, and so you're basically solving the co-op puzzles by yourself, as awkward and difficult as that sounds. It all sounds kind of awesome. I'm pretty excited to try it out once I beat the, the main game. Here. Blowing up balloons, blowing up scientists, hitting checkpoints, breaking glass, and wrecking havoc in twisted pixel fashion. This company... They make some awesome games. Um, I would say that Comic Jumper was a miss for me. I didn't really have much fun with that one. Um, but the Explosion Man stuff is awesome. I love both the games. I mean, I haven't played much of this one, so I guess I can't give a final verdict. As we're just starting the, the single player here. But the multiplayer seems great. Um, and everything I've read says it's basically just more of Explosion Man goodness with extra added new mechanics like zip lines and other awesome things. So I'm excited to see what they've added. Because it's not enough just to create this game and have there be a... Uh, you know, some new levels. Like, oh, that's cute, but doesn't, I don't know how much it does for me. I know about these barrels because I uh, played the first game. Um, I'm not sure if there's really a tutorial. There is from the menu, but it doesn't seem like there's much of a tutorial in the actual game here. There wasn't co-op. Uh-oh. We're on stage. She has a very annoying voice, in case you can't tell. Holy cow. That's creepy. Stay away from me. She kind of looks like I'm a giant mouse, and now we're running away. This is new. <laughs> we're running away. Chase sequences. You'd think she might want to, you know, go a little bit faster, but apparently this little uh, princess skip is going to do just fine for her. The, uh, the tutorial videos that they had in multiplayer were hilarious. They've got, like, these uh, different misplosion men. There's, like, Debbie and Betty and Alice, and they, some of them are smart and some are dumb, and it's just it's pretty great. Phew! She can grab ledges, too, which for some reason I don't remember in Explosion Man. It could very well have been there, I, but I'm totally blank. I don't... What the heck is she saying? I don't even know. But I don't, I don't remember there being ledge holding in the first game. Um, but one negative I, I might say about this game so far, her voice is... Her voice is slightly annoying, even after like 20 minutes. Whoa! Hand of Doom, that's creepy. <laughs> They've upped the, up the production values, clearly. I'm a fairy, let me run! Uh-oh. Away from you, Professor Grabby. Don't touch me, ever. 
have a bomb to the eye. Hope you enjoy. Let's go. So any button, uh, any of the face buttons can be used for exploding. So whatever button you prefer touching, you can do it. You can touch the B button, the Y button, the X button, the A button, your call. I like the little graphical tweak to that. The slight cell shade in this. Right in the elevator. True crow. Ballerina style running. Whoa! That was dangerous. Get on the zip line. Seems it seems like I mean if you played the first or seen the first explosion, man, this, this seems a lot more like epic so far. Like we're not just in a test facility. It's like from Portal One to Portal Two, like you're busting out. Boom. Goodbye. I think that's level. Oh, I was gonna say I thought that was level one, but apparently not. Mighty Eternal, he has a weak spot in his eye. Gonna have to explode him in his eye, and he is humongous. Look, buddy, the bottom line is, you're just too fat for me. Whoa, ouch, that hurts. That's a death. Oh, no, apparently not. Okay. Oh, I didn't have any explosions. Ouch. No! Explode, 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 explode. Okay, come on, drop down that barrel. Drop it down. Drop it like it's... Explosive, okay. Boom! There we go, that's an eye shot. Right to the brain. Right to the robo brain, if a robot even qualifies having a brain. Two to the brain. We can't be friends. I'll buy you coffee and then you have to leave. Take your luggage and get out of my life. Oh my, whoa. I feel like I'm not getting hurt by his uh, stuff, which is weird. Whoa! Oh my goodness gracious! Massive eyeball damage. Can he hurt me? I like got smashed by his like fist of doom and it doesn't seem to have done anything. Woohoo! Three, four shots to the eye. How many can your lovely robo eye take, sir Robo? Like, is there is there a fail state in this at all? I feel like we do damage no matter if he grabs us or not. Kind of weird. Okay. No. Don't throw anything at me. I want to hurt your eye. So you can't look at me. I'm too pretty for you. You are too disgusting and robotic. Please don't look at me anymore. Right on his eyeball. Hello, hello. Kiss of Doom. Whoa! Quick time events and explosion in the game, that's insane. Whoa, we're inside his brain, literally. Figuratively, literally. Mechanically, electronically. Spiritually. And. Biologically, alright. That's a victory. It's a Miss Explosion, woman, man, dude, princess, girl victory. And now we win. What the heck are you? What the heck are you? <laughs> well, that's really creepy. Guess we missed the goal time by a little bit, but we got a lot of scientists, and I got a number one first place ribbon. I've got 20 coins to use in the shop where you can unlock things like gamer pictures, concept art, which everyone loves, I know, and a theme, which is pretty cool. The load screens are fairly obnoxious with dancing, explosion, miss explosion, man, woman, girl thing. I did not collect the shoes. Did I collect the shoes? Apparently. I, I don't know. Maybe I didn't. That's why they're not highlighted. Did you see any shoes? There's lots of hidden things in this game. Secret exits, secret things. I don't know what else is going on, but that's level 1 1. That's a little taste of miss explosion, man, woman, thing, person, creation. 
you like this video, hit that thumbs up button. Could be so kind. Maybe we can show you some more. Let me know in the comments below what you think. Have a fantastic day, guys. Until next time, we'll see you later.